Well, a fine good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I am in Burlington, Vermont today. Thomas Mayo. You see right here on his grave marker that uh, he's U U.S. Navy, Commander-in-Chief, U.S. Naval Forces in the Atlantic during the World War. I know they say the World War because you can see he was born in 1856 and died in 1937. World War II had not broken out yet, although it was getting close. And then his wife, Mary Caroline Wynn. Top, there, there is this flag as well. All right, so let me show you a picture of the Admiral. This is from the Fighter Grave website and was added by Ron Moody. This was the Admiral. Okay, bear with me, it's very windy. And it's not going to be fun holding the piece of paper to read to you, but I'll do my best. So he was born on December 8, 1856, here in Burlington, Vermont. He died February 23, 1937, at the age of 80, of course, in the Hampshire. Here in Burlington. United States Naval Officer, graduated of the U.S. Naval Academy in 1876, and served on a number of routine ship duties rising to captain in 1908. Commander, the cruiser USS California from 1908 and the cruiser USS California from 1909 to 1910. Promoted to Rear Admiral in 1913 and commanded the 4th Division of the Atlantic Fleet and became involved in the Tampico incident in Mexico. I hope I pronounced that correctly. In that event, he responded very strongly to the unwarranted arrest of United States sailors by Mexican authorities and facilitated the occupation of Europeans by U.S. forces. Promoted to Vice Admiral in 1915 and full Admiral in 1916 when he was named Commander-in-Chief of the Atlantic Fleet. He held this position until 1919, making him the ranking United States Naval Officer at sea during World War I. His military service was marked by a lack of desire for self-serving accolades, and his only citation from the Navy was his distinguished service medal. Despite this lack of recognition, he influenced many World War II naval officers like Ernest J. King. This bio was provided by RPD2 on uh, findagrave.com. I don't know what those initials stand for. Let's do a walk around of the, the grave uh, monument here. Uh, first of all, we see there are two flags. The U.S. flag is on the right-hand side, and then there's this flag on the left. Hard to see what that says because the wind is so brisk. But uh, let's uh, let's take a walk around and um, see who's listed on the other side. I think you'll find uh, some very impressive people uh, and ranks on this side. Before I start showing you that, though, you can see what the flag says now. U.S. Navy. I mean, it's practically standing. It both is standing out, full attention. Uh, the wind is just very strong, very, very strong. My hat is going to blow up. I just know this. <laughs> so, you see this? We have Captain Chester... Garth, uh, Garst Mayo, United States Navy, 1881 to 1985. Holy cow, he lived a very long time. His wife, Ada Aida Manderson McLean, 1875-1962. Colonel George Mayo, United States Army, 1887-1980, also a very long time. His wife, Dorothy Thompson Mayo, 1890-1970. Very impressive. Uh, a captain in the Navy.
Navy uh, is a high rank and a certain colonel in the U.S. Army. So, anyway, looking to the very top of the monument, and then coming all the way down. The wind is so strong it's blowing my hand, holding my rig. Very impressive, isn't it? And as long as we're here, if, if, if any of these people have descendants, should they come here to visit, Lake Champlain is right here. Watch the uh, white caps. And uh, see the breakwater out there too. Fierce wind though coming off the lake. I hope that you can hear me, quite frankly. Um, and as always, as I come back around to the front, so my back is facing the wind. <laughs> if you're enjoying the content I provide, uh, please subscribe to my channel. To the uh, 127 who have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Love that you, have, uh, that you're enjoying my videos and want to watch them. Makes my day. I upload still every single day of the week. It's January 2022, and it can be tricky in the winter time. Uh, Saturday, for instance, this Saturday, the temperature is supposed to be three above zero with a wind chill on top of that. Guess who's not going outside to film? Yeah, you guessed it. Yours truly. i to stay in my house and stay nice and toasty and warm. Um, just want to remind you that I'm going to be on TV. Woohoo! So next Thursday, January 27, 2022. It's channel 17. If you have Comcast uh, cable uh, in uh, I'm not sure it's in Vermont, uh, but certainly in this area of Vermont, channel 1087 will be on. If uh, you can watch it on the internet, cctv.org. Click on Watch TV, click on the search box, type in Preservation Burlington, and you should be able to find us. I used to host that show quite a few years ago, double digit years ago, and it's coming from soon. I am the first guest of uh, 2022. Super excited. And the reason I was invited on was to talk about my, quote, cool YouTube videos. Woohoo! Yay. All right. Enough about that. I hope you'll tune in. Look forward to uh, chatting about the channel and um, all that great stuff. But until I see you again, you know the drill. I'm Patricia. And I am traveling for history. Until I see you again, you